Hi friends, today we are going to discuss 5 more questions. First question is, which of the following parameters from plasma concentration time profile study gives indication of the rate of the drug absorption? Option A is Cmax that is maximum concentration. Option second is Tmax that is maximum time to achieve maximum concentration. Option C is AUC that is area under curve and option D is T half. We know that AUC gives us extent of viability. Cmax gives us measure of both the rate of absorption and the extent of viability and Tmax gives us measure of the rate of absorption. But as Cmax gives us both the parameter both the rate of absorption and the extent of viability so the correct answer will be Cmax. If Cmax is not given in the option then we can choose the Tmax that is B option but for this question correct answer will be A. Second question is upon standing sometimes gel system shrinks a bit and little liquid is pressed out. What is this phenomenon known as? Option A is oozing, Option B is synarsis, Option C is shrinking, Option D is desolvation. This is a clear definition of synarsis, so correct answer will be B that is synarsis. Third question is which microbe is used for validation of sterilization by filtration process? Option A is Bacillus stereothermophilus, Option B is Pseudomonas diminuta. Option C is Bacillus subtilis. Option D is Pseudomonas arginosa. Pseudomonas diminuta is used for the validation of sterilization by filtration process. So correct answer will be B that is Pseudomonas diminuta. Question 4 is which wavelength of UV light provides maximum germicidal action? Option A 253.7 nanometer. Option B is 275.5 nanometer option C is 283.5 nanometer and option D is 240 nanometer the co correct answer for this question is A that is 253.7 nanometer because 265 nanometer is 100% effective UV light and 253.7 nanometer is 97% effective and 265 nanometer is not given in the options and 253.7 is given in the option so our answer will be A that is 253.7 nanometer our fifth question is molecules in the smectic crystal are characterized by which one of the following option A is mobility in three direction and rotation in one axis option B is mobility in two direction and rotation in one axis Option C is mobility in two direction and no rotation. Option D is mobility in three direction and no rotation. Our correct answer is mobility in two direction and rotation in one axis that is option B because semantic crystal follow this kind of characteristic. So guys these are the five questions for today. Please like our Facebook page and also like and subscribe our YouTube channel.